Hi guys, today we've got a trigonometric identity problem where we're being asked to solve an equation over a given interval. Now we're going to make use of the angle sum in a uh, angle sum identity uh, to solve this problem. And there's a few little tricks that we're going to use along the way, but it's quite straightforward. Um, so what we're going to do to start with is we're going to uh, expand this sine of x plus 30. So this angle sum here, we're going to expand it using a trigonometric identity. So the identity that we're going to use is going to be the sine of a plus b is equal to the sine of a times the cosine of b plus the cosine of a times the sine of b times the sine of b. So that's the trigonometric identity we're going to use. So we can literally from here, we're going to be just substituting in values for a and b. We have a is equal to x and b here is equal to 30. So a plus b is going to be sine of x times the cosine of 30 plus the cosine of x times the sine of 30. Now this is all equal to the cosine of x. Cool. So from here what we can do is we know, well hopefully you guys know, but we can tell what the actual values of these two trigonometric ratios are. So what we can do is we can substitute those ratios in. So we know that the cosine of 30 is square root 3 over 2. And we're going to times that by the sine of x. And then we've got, we're going to add that to, and we know the sine of 30 is just a half. And we're going to multiply that by the cosine of x. And that's equal to the cosine of x. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and, the way I'm going to solve this is I've got to get all the cosines onto one side. So I'm going to subtract one half cos x from both sides. And on this side they'll cancel, and on this side we'll be left with just a one take a half is a half. So we're going to be left with square root 3 over 2 times the sine of x is equal to 1 over 2 times the cosine of x. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the trigonometric ratios cosine of x over to this side and I'm going to take the fraction over to the right hand side. So the reason I'm going to do this will become clear in a second. So I'm going to divide both sides by the cosine of x. And I'm going to, so that'll cancel the cosine out on the right hand side of the equal sign. And then I'm going to, to move this fraction over to the other side, I'm going to multiply both sides by its reciprocal. So I'll use it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 over root 3. So this is me 2 over square root 3 times by 2 over square root of 3. So what we find is these cancel out because they form 1 and these two cancel out because they form 1. And we're left with sine x over cos x. Now that is equal to the tan of x. And I've explained why they're equal to that in another video. And the tan of x is equal to 1 half times 2 over the square root of 3. Now, hopefully you are well versed in the multiplication of fractions, but what's going to happen here, if you're not aware, we can simplify across our diagonals. 2 and 2, they can simplify down to just 1. And we have 1 times 1 is equal to 1, would you believe? And we have 1 times the square root of 3, which is just the square root of 3. So we're left with tan of x equals the square root of 3. Now, again, with our exact values, we all know that the value of x which makes the tan of x equal to, well, the first value of x which makes the tan of x equal to 1 over three, root 3 is equal to 30 degrees. So here we go. We've got the um, tan of x graph drawn from 0 to 360 degrees. Now, if we can imagine 1 over square root 3, which we're just going to draw an arbitrary line here. Let's pretend it's there. So, what this is going to mean is we're going to have, on this domain, we're going to have a solution here, which we've found, that's 30 degrees. And we're going to have a solution between 180 and 270 degrees. So this isn't supposed to tell you exactly what the solution is. It's to tell you whereabouts your solution is going to lie on the domain. So we know that there's one between 0 and 90, which we know is already x equals 30 degrees. And the other one is going to be 100, between 180 and 270. Now, because like all trigonometric functions, the tan graph is also periodical, so it repeats itself. So if this solution is 30 degrees away from zero, it means that the second solution here is going to be 30 degrees away from 180. So the other solution is going to be x is equal to 180 degrees plus 30 degrees, which is equal to 210 degrees. So that's given us both solutions. You can see that there are no other solutions on this domain. So our final answer is going to be x is equal to 30 degrees, comma, 210 degrees. So I hope that video helped. It's There are quite a few tricks as we go along, like recognizing the tan of x and also knowing all of our exact values of our trigonometric functions. But once you've got cracked through all that, it's not too complicated and most of the questions are basically the same. So I hope that video helped and I'll uh, see you again next time.